Hello. In today's video, we are going to talk about a table manipulation function in Power BI called as cross join. As usual, let's go to the documentation page, review the syntax, and then try to implement it with the help of an example. Here is the definition and the syntax. Returns a table that contains the Cartesian product of all rows from all tables in the arguments. The columns in the new table are all the columns in all the argument tables. The syntax takes two pa uh, one parameter, that's the table. So we can give more than one table as a reference. It might be two or three. And the return value is always a table. Let's go to PBI and with the help of an example, let's try to implement this. So here is the sample data set. I have two tables, table color and table flower. Table color has four, to, uh, four colors, red, pink, white, and yellow. And in table flower, I have the names of different flowers. And total records is 10. So let's try to combine these two tables using a cross join function and see what is the result. So let me call this as a new table here. Let me name this as cross join example table equal to use a cross join. I'll be using color and flower to get all the com possible combination between color and flower. Hit enter. As you can see here, I have the, all the combination. Let's say the flower rose. It can be red, it can be pink, it can be white and yellow. Similarly, you can see the lily. It can be red, pink, white, yellow. So basically it's, it's a Cartesian product. So the color, I have four colors and the flower, I have 10 flower, 10 into 440. So I will, have 40 rows here as you can see here 40 rows this is how the cross join function works assume that i have the rows in this table right let's say i have rows repeated twice let's assume that we have rows repeated twice what happens is like i will get an additional four entries because it treats every a record has separate records. So even if I have the same rows repeated twice, I'll be increasing my record count by four because that particular rows is multiplied with the color. So again, four times. So the total record would increase from 40 to 44. So this is how the cross join function works in PBI. If you have any questions, please drop a note in the comment section. I'll leave it back to you, okay? Thanks for watching. Please do not forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you, have a great day.